Oh. Oh. Oh, it's like Avatar, but for nothing. Oh. Yep, what a surprise. It's another middle-aged white guy on late night who gets paid too much for doing bugger all. <laughs> That's right. I'm so proud. You know, with all the attention on the late night shows, people are forgetting about the real news. Um, and and I think that that's a shame because CBS have got a new announcer to do the news. Did you know this? Ah, yes, they do. <laughs> do you know who it is? See if you can guess. All right, I'll tell you. Morgan Freeman. I know. That's awesome. He's doing he's doing great, but you know we what happens is because it's CBS, we actually have the outtakes of him starting up, like if he's doing the news. <laughs> Of course, we would never play them at a time when anyone would be watching, but who's watching now? <laughs> There's no one watching now, it's just you and me. <laughs> you, the television viewer who is important to me. <laughs> and me, the forgotten Cinderella of late night television. <laughs> But Cinderella has a secret. Do you? Yes, I do. <laughs> I have the outtakes of Morgan Freeman doing the CBS News. Would you play it for us? Yes, I would. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. From CBS News World Headquarters in New York, this is the CBS Evening News. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I farted. That's right. Morgan Freeman's farts sound like a ship's horn. From CBS News World Headquarters in New York, this is the CBS Evening News. Trust me, it's way better than that Fox News. <laughs> From CBS News World Headquarters in New York, this is the CBS Evening News. With that hot, spicy piece of ass, Katie Kirk. God, I love a woman with a boy's haircut. <laughs> Only CBS. <laughs> we'll be right back. seems like real enthusiasm. You're great. Thank you very much. <laughs> like me, they're only here to stay out of the ring. <laughs> I'll fake it if you will. <laughs> I'm feeling perky tonight, I've decided. Cheerleaders have all the fun. From now on, <laughs> from now on, I'm going to be perky too. I say, all right, no, no, it's all right, it's all right. I'm done. I've used it all up. That's all the perkiness that I have. Now it's back to crotchety old pervert. <laughs> It's a great day for America, everybody, isn't it? 
Yep. That, it is a great day. <laughs> it is a great day for the state of New Jersey. They legalized the medical marijuana. Uh -huh. yeah. Finally, the cast of Jersey Shore can get a prescription for something other than penicillin. So congratulations to you. <laughs> the weather in L.A. is crazy. It's like we got another day of thunderstorms today. Look out the window. Look at that. <laughs> today, the Los Angeles National Weather Service, or whatever they're called, the National Weather Service, not the Los Angeles National Weather Service. That wouldn't make sense unless L.A. was its own country. <gasps> I've said too much. <laughs> The National Weather Service today issued a tornado warning for parts of L.A. County. I'm like, what? <laughs> We're not used to having real weather. What's next? <laughs> real breasts? <laughs> I certainly hope not. <laughs> the only wind we are used to in L.A. is from blowing smoke up each other's asses. I'm not used to all of that. <laughs> right to the old pervert. <laughs> Did you watch Martha Stewart today? Neither did I. No, I did, actually. <laughs> I did. My own Martha Stewart today, she got a pole dancing lesson. <laughs> <laughs> she got a pole dancing lesson, and the audience received a lesson in gravity. And my... <laughs> I was like... <laughs> Girl... Uh... Martha said that having her hands around that cold, hard steel made her feel like she was right back in the joint. <laughs> hey, have you seen the Avatar movie? It looks like it's going to pass Titanic. It's the most successful movie of all time. And I'm like, because <gasps> I still haven't seen it. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, Craig. That's a massive pop culture phenomenon you've completely ignored. Damn right there is. <laughs> right there, I've ignored it. I zig where you zag, bitches. <laughs> what? Yeah. I said it. You think I'm going to go there? I'm going to go there. That's right. <laughs> I just called you bitches. I'm so sorry. I got overexcited. I'm overperked. I don't like. I don't like fads, though. I don't. But this whole internet thing is a fad as well. That's why I'm hanging on to my eight-track player and my CB radio. Breaker, breaker. This is Big Beaver. I got. Uh, <laughs> I got Frampton Comes Alive. Wow. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah, Avatar. I'm not surprised the Avatar's a success. I've got a theory that people love any kind of entertainment where the heroes are brightly colored, whether it's the blue aliens of the Avatar or the green ogre in Shrek, Shrek or the uh, sh sh Shrek. Uh, sh 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 talking like a chicken. <laughs> You get, <laughs> you get the blue avatars, the green uh, and Shrek, you get the, uh, you get the orange people in the Jersey Shore. You get all the different <laughs> colors of the rainbow. One of the reasons the avatars made so much money is because the 3D tickets are more expensive. Ah. I think the studios should think about a sliding scale for movie tickets. Like for a good movie, uh, like Avatar, it's okay, I don't mind paying a bit extra. For an okay movie, charge a little bit less. And for a terrible movie, the studio pays you. <laughs> It's proving popular. I think it'll work. You get it. The studio. Studio has a shady guy outside the theater saying, hey, did you hear about the Morgans? Huh? <laughs> How about now? Did you hear about them now? How about them? It's a good thing that the Avatar is so successful, though, because it costs $300 million to make. If someone gave me $300 million, I could make an awesome movie. Actually, I wouldn't. I'd make a crap movie and get an awesome house. <laughs> but you know what's happening? They're saying that the Avatar is such a visually powerful experience that when people are depressed when it's over... Look at this headline, look. Hey, Avatar Blues, fans experience depression after seeing film. Now, it's written down, that means it's true. <laughs> Because apparently what it says, after the, seeing the Avatar, people get depressed to go back into the real world. Because it sucks to live in the real world, would you? <laughs> it does. Come on, let's be honest. <laughs> Bills and having to go to the bathroom and everything. <laughs> in the real world, it is frowned upon to have sex with magical blue creatures. <laughs> Call me Blue Man Group. You know... <laughs> Anyway, let's 
kind of depression, you know, they advertise. It's, it's common during the winter months. Psychologists say that the two surefire ways to, to cure the winter blues is you first take lots of vitamin D, and second, you laugh. So if you're watching this show, you're halfway there, because I just reminded you about the vitamin D. <laughs> I can't help you with the other one, but the vitamin D, take your vitamin D. And then if you want the other one, watch Martha Stewart learning the bone dance. Now, it's my new thing for when I'm mystified. If I do that too much, my contact lenses will pop out. And that'll be entertainment. Although you won't see it because it's so badly lit here. But I'll know what happened. <laughs> what am I talking about? Avatar. The Avatar is popular with all kinds of people. You get the kids, the uh, parents, the grandparents, and, and new parents are actually naming their kids after characters in the movie, which is not a good idea. You can just ask my brother about that Princess Leia Ferguson. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not helping your depression at all, is it? <laughs> Do you know who's in the Avatar? Sigourney Weaver, she's good, isn't she? She always does movies with dangerous animals. Gorillas in the Mist, uh, <laughs> Aliens. Later in the movie, uh, in, the, in the movie, later in the movie? <laughs> later in the movie, I don't know what happens, but she does Gorillas in the Mist. I haven't seen it yet. Gorillas in the Mist, she does uh, Aliens. That's two with dangerous animals, she's done. <laughs> Was she in Dunstan Checks in? That was a chimp movie. That chimp, chimps can be quite dangerous. They throw their poop at you. That's quite dangerous. Later this year, she's in a movie with Betty White. Aha! That's right. Betty White may look innocent, but I know her. She is a wild beast. She could kill you with one punch, Betty White. She does. She knows that is really martial arts. The krach machach. Krach machach. Well, it's commercial time, everybody. So uh, what an experienced and professional broadcaster would do is, you know, end on a joke and go, ah, ha, ha, we'll be right back after these messages, but you're not going to get that here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you why, because I'd like to distance myself from everyone else that does this for a living. <laughs> Oh, I don't know why. <laughs> we'll be right back. And now, Craig's Spanish word of the day. Today's word is bigote. Bigote. Knock it off. Knock it off. <laughs> Do you know I once tried to grow a bigote? <laughs> it's Spanish for moustache. <laughs> and people were outraged. They were so angry they offered me 11.35 on NBC. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. That way madness lies. I know you're thinking, you're thinking, Craig, why are you standing up <laughs> behind your desk? I'll tell you why. I want to try and distance myself from everyone else that does this for a living. <laughs> why would you want to do that? No reason. <laughs> I'll try sitting down, but just don't include me, all right? <laughs> all right, then. Actually, I have a bigote, just not on my face. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, people that enjoy Spanish-English comedy. And who doesn't? I'll tell you who, the French. What the hell was I talking about before? Oh, Avatar! You know, the, the 3D movies? Uh, you know, the good thing about it come from the 3D movies is that, you know, they're going to take old movies and turn them into 3D. They've already started. Like, remember when they colorized movies? They're going to they're gonna turn uh, other movies into 3D, which will be awesome. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to see Raiders of the Lost Ark in 3D. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Yes. All right, it was just an idea. Oh, you had an idea. Yeah, I know. All right, all right. 
Just don't overdo it. It's starting to sound slightly insincere, if you don't mind me saying so. I would like to see Raiders of the Lost Ark in 3D, though I'm not sure I want to be in a crowded theatre with huge balls rolling towards me. <laughs> not on the screen, anyway. I don't know about that. Craig, why is it an awkward pause? They don't do awkward pauses in late night television shows. I know. <laughs> it's almost as if you're trying to distance yourself from everyone else that does this for a living. <laughs> yes. <laughs> why? No reason. <laughs> now at this point, I would like to say that there was a commercial break. I would like to say that. But there isn't one. <laughs> he wants one. Because he works for the man. In fact, he is the man. There he is. The shadowy figure that controls me like some kind of whore. <laughs> We should be watching commercials right now, but we're not. <laughs> Does that make you feel dirty? <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Are you actually going to drink from that? <laughs> maybe I am, but maybe I'm not. You zig, I zag. <laughs> All right, now we'll take a commercial break. We'll be right back. which happens to be on at night, but isn't necessarily a late-night talk show. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have time for emails? All the time in the world. <laughs> really? About five minutes. Right. Uh, this is from Josh in Tazewell in Tennessee. It says, uh, Dear Craig, my eyebrows have a bad habit of getting curly whenever they grow out too long. Which makes it look like I doubt anything anyone tells me. Should I be concerned? <laughs> no, I think it'll make everyone try a little harder. Everyone will be like, eh, no, I'm serious. And you can be like... <laughs> See, I've never judged anyone's opinion on me and by how curly their eyebrows were. <laughs> Especially with women, because many times they wax their eyebrows within an inch of their eyebrows. <laughs> I'm pretty drunk tonight, everybody. <laughs> this is from Dwayne in Austin, Texas. Uh, Dwayne says, Dear Craig, how do you know if there's a warrant out for your arrest? <laughs> <laughs> I think you know. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> this is from Ryan in Highland in New York. Ryan says, hi, hi, Craig. No, he doesn't. He says, dear Craig. I just went, hi, hi, for some reason. <laughs> it's some kind of seizure I'm having. Are you having a seizure? Yes, but I'll try and make it entertaining. <laughs> dear Craig, I was in Cancun all the last week, and I was wondering if I missed anything last week. Yeah. <laughs> Same old, same old in late night TV. Anyway, things just rolling along just like normal. <laughs> Nothing to see here. We are not the droids you are looking for. <laughs> you will take me to Jabba. This is from uh, Adriana in Sonora in Mexico. Uh, she says, Dear Craig, I have seen that nobody ever asks you how you are. How are you? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I have to say, Adriana, I feel a little vulnerable. <laughs> Still masculine, but vulnerable. <laughs> I think it's to do with all what's been going on in the late-night television world. It's unsettled me. 
because sooner or later somebody's going to notice we're on the air and I don't want to get fired. <laughs> This is from uh, Natalie in Lafayette, Louisiana. She says, uh, Dear Craig, are you secure enough with your masculinity to own a poodle? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know, though. I've got a French bulldog. Well, I don't have a French bulldog. My wife has a French bulldog. I have proper dogs. I got a German Shepherd and a Jack Russell. My wife has a French bulldog, which is a little bastard. Uh, <laughs> And sometimes I have to take it out because it's really smelly and it's just, I mean, just awful. Uh, I mean, it's not even like a, you know when you have like a, you know, if you have a car and you have tires on it, which many people do, and <laughs> then you have uh, in your car, in the trunk of your car, you'll have a sort of just a little balloon tire in case you have another tire that goes, you know, well, that's kind of like what the French bulldog is in dog version. <laughs> a proper dog it's just like a little balloon dog that you anyway i had to take it out for a walk and its name's cabbage and it... i had to take it out for a walk and the other dogs weren't there and it was me and then i saw some dudes and they were like oh hey, there's a guy on tv and i'm like hey yeah and then the dog runs off and i had to shout cabbage cabbage <laughs> After that, you know, a poodle's kind of like, eh. Are we out of time? No, you're out of time. <laughs> this is from Andrea in Denver, Colorado. <laughs> Dear Craig, our cheerleading squad needs a chaperone for our trip to the regional championships. Are you interested? <laughs> an icon. He's got a new series out called The Human Spark, which airs on PBS. Uh, it's on January the 20th, I think it starts. Yes, it is. Uh, take a look at this. Whoa. <laughs> what, uh, what does he mean by that? <laughs> That's just a uh, hello and welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> Brian Hare has spent 15 years trying to get inside the minds of chimpanzees like Hondo. There he goes. He likes to be watched eating. Well, he, just, he just knows the alpha male in the group, and he wants to uh, groom a potential coalition partner here with you, Alan. Please welcome Alan Alda, everybody. Alan. They seem very nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you, you went out and hugged them. Yeah, well, they seem, they seem clean, you know. <laughs> Did you pick that up when you were out discovering about chimps? They're going to hug people. Uh, no. Chimps hug, don't they? Do they ever? <laughs> I had one punch me in the face once. Were you in a bar drinking with it? <laughs> uh, uh, the, and then after he hit me, knocked me over. And he was just a little kid, you know? And then, and then, he, and then they, he made some gesture and they said, it was like this, he went like this. And they said, oh, he's apologizing. That's apologizing? Yeah, it looks a lot like the punch. Yeah, it looks, it's close to the 
one. Yeah. So, uh, that's a Watch out. I'm, I'm sorry, I was apologising. No, that's yeah. okay then. I didn't know you were so chimp friendly. I didn't know you were into monkeys. <laughs> oh, they're not monkeys, are they? They're not monkeys. Not only are they not monkeys, I'm not into them. All right, yeah. Well, you know okay. what I mean. I, uh, are you a big animal lover? Well, I like animals, yeah, I, but I, I mean, I'm, I, you know, I have to meet a lot of animals. I've interviewed many animals on the science show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm on the science show, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, well, you're very science. You know, like this one that you showed that clip from, that's on uh, tomorrow night. Uh, yeah. And, and, uh, and on that, that's the, that's the third of a three-part series, and then this part, because it's all about how, what makes us human. Yeah. And they look in my brain in uh, MRI machines to find out what makes us human. Do we think about poop as much as chimpanzees? <laughs> I, I might. I might, do actually. You? Yeah, I might. Do you really? No, oh, Well, so how much. much time do you devote to that? Quote about poop? No, thinking about it. Thinking about poop? Ah, not much, if I'm honest. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, oh, I went to a Catholic high school, and there was a priest who taught us who, who just every few weeks would say, you know, the average adult only thinks about sex about 10 minutes a day. So, so you kids, you shouldn't be obsessed with it. So I would think to myself, well, I'll get my 10 minutes in now. <laughs> The average adult only thinks about sex ten minutes a day? That's what he told yeah, us. Come, come on, on. man. Come on. That's a little bit. You're come telling on. Me. I mean, there's about ten minutes a day I don't think about sex. <laughs> <laughs> and that's only because I'm thinking, oh, I'm thinking too much about sex. Yeah. That's the ten yeah. minutes I spend yeah. then. I'm trying to cut back myself. Yeah, you yeah. got to. Yeah. yeah. I can give it up any time I want, you know. What, sex? No, I, what, did I, what are we talking about? <laughs> Chimpanzees. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, the, yes. Now, yes. The, did that chimp throw its poop at you at any point? Uh, uh, no, that, he, actually, uh, he was heaving rocks at us. Well, that's not friendly. No, no, no. Not as friendly as poop would be. You're right. <laughs> that's not even friendly either, unless no. you're German. You know. <laughs> just realized you wrote a book. It's wonderful. I did, I, yeah. Somebody I did. left it in my dressing room. Yeah, I guess. Well, they, they, that's how we get rid of them. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, I, I, I picked it up. I was so glad to see you'd written a book because you're just such, such a wonderful writer. And I, and I did what, you know, every thoughtful person would. I flipped to the back to see if I was in the index. <laughs> There's no damn index, There's no index in this book. You have to read the book. How how do you expect a big, famous, important person like me to read a book without well, an index? Well, if you'd have looked at the chapter listing, chapter 14, Alan and the Monkeys, there's a clue. <laughs> Alan and the Monkeys. Okay, I'll, then I'll take a better No, you know, I, I read the first two chapters. It, it was just great. Really, I just yeah, love it. Yeah, it's a pack you, of lies. I laughed though, you out know. loud. <laughs> what? It's a pack of lies. I, I Is made it, it really? Up. Yeah, Well, yeah. it's an autobiography. Exactly yeah. so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I read your book, the Never Have Your Dog Stuffed book. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> what, what is it with the poop thing? What is that? How do you... Oh, that's what you said. I was in the title of your book, Never Have Your Dog Stuffed. But then you said poop. <laughs> oh, oh, maybe no, you I said, didn't. Oh, I think no, you what, heard. You said, you, you said book. Book, yeah, book, yeah. <laughs> ah, that's so funny. Yes. You know. You, it's a good thing sometimes, like, you, you go back over and you call back on the joke because... I, that's called recycling. I'm yeah, very green. <laughs> because for about the first five minutes, I didn't know what perky was. Oh, perky. <laughs> oh, you know what perky is. Perky. <laughs> uh, you know what perky is. Chimpanzees, they're perky. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Now, listen, you're not putting forward this uh, uh, ludicrous uh, uh, notion of evolution in your science uh, <laughs> no, thing, are you? No, no, no. no. No, everything just was there, you know. Right. Like, yeah, the I fossils know. are there to, for God to test our faith. <laughs> Sailing into a bit of trouble here. Yeah. Uh, hey, have you, have you got a science program about space? Uh, n no. You no. want to do one about space? You want to get your monkeys, send them into space? Didn't they do that already? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. What happened? Oh, do it again. What? <laughs> that would be like a rerun. Uh, what? What didn't they? Uh, what happened to that monkey who went in space? Oh, he was was fine. it a chimp or a monkey? It was. I think it was a chimp. His name yeah. was uh, Stan, I think, and they. Uh, <laughs> They sent him into space, and he came back. He was great. You know, he actually, I think he lives in uh, Marina del Rey now. <laughs> do, you, do you sometimes know what you're going to say? Never. Never. 
I figure if I keep talking, somebody's going to give me thirty million dollars to shut the hell up. <laughs> you know what? What's what's great? I was thinking that we one of the things that's supposed to make us humans that that the scientists told me that one of the essential things is that we read one another's minds. That we're always watching really? to see how we're doing with the other person. I kind of thought you were going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, like for instance. Uh, thank, thank God I'm not on NBC, eh? Yeah. <laughs> what about, what about, mm. Yeah. Yeah, boy, uh, that's, uh, that's something, all of that, isn't it? <laughs> do you follow, uh, do you follow that kind of thing? <laughs> well, I, I, it's, it seems, it's funny to me that it gets so much attention. I, I know. That's what I, I, I thought. Don't get I mean, it. What the and, hell? And I wonder how it. I mean, as someone who does it professionally, or, or nearly so. Nearly, you know, very, very. Uh, uh, I, I would. I, I wonder sometimes what, how it must affect them. You know, before they go on. Uh, first of all, are people going to laugh at somebody who makes thirty million a night? You know, whatever. It is? I hope one day to find out. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good joke about take the 300 million and buy a house. I like yeah, that. Yeah, no, that it's was true. Good. I do that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, you know what? We're out of time, you know. Uh, no kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It oh. goes like that. Is there anything you'd like to plug? Uh. <laughs> you know, no one ever asked me that. Yeah. Your, your darn book is real good. I, I would. I don't want to plug it though. Well, that's no. unseemly. No, no yeah. it is unseemly. Yeah. Don't the publishers get mad? They say plug it on your show. I'm like, come on. No, I'm that would be one hard to do. Yeah. So know. you should go on Jay Leno and plug it there. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a good idea? I don't know. I'm. Yeah. Yeah. That would be. A, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> the views expressed by Alan Alda are not those expressed by the CBS company. Well. I'm going to go and make room for somebody go else. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Oh, no, no, is in theaters now. Take a look at this. What's the target? I'd rather not. Is it a secret target? It's 10 million miles. Isn't 10 million just a number? Pi is just a number. Well, we all need a hobby. No, I, I, I don't mean to belittle your collection. I get it. It sounds cool. I'd be the seventh person to do it. More people have walked on the moon. Did they throw you a parade? You get lifetime executive status. You get to meet the chief pilot, Maynard Finch. Wow. And they put your name on the side of a plane. If you guys don't grow up, it's like you need to pee on everything. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Anna Kendrick, everybody. Anna Kendrick. I love your uh, your necklace Thank dress. Thank you. Thing. I feel like I could kill a man in this dress. <laughs> that kind of dress. <laughs> what what is, is there stuff inside them like chocolate and stuff? Yeah. There's no, little... I have no idea. I haven't. I don't know. Now I feel like I'm. I look silly on TV. No, doing you this. don't look silly. No, I'm genuinely. I mean it. It's great. It has a kind of ancient Egyptian feel about it. Thank you. You're like <laughs> you're like an ancient Egyptian mare. A mare? Yeah, like a mare. Not, not a horse mare, oh. but a mare of a town. <laughs> and by the way, when I say book, I don't mean poop, I mean book. <laughs> it's just something that happened earlier. Okay. Are, are you scared? Am I frightening? I'm terrified. No, I'm, I get really nervous, actually, uh, just talk shows in general. I'm, well, I'm trying is... to get better at them, but... No, 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 no. And I'm hiding it very well, obviously. You're doing good. <laughs> I, I also think that this is not really a talk show. Okay. <laughs> because you don't want to get cancelled? <laughs> no, I, I think for it to be a talk show, I, I have to be paid more. Uh, do, are you all right in that chair? Do you want the little I would, legs? Yeah. Do you, you want you, it? Yeah, I keep this I'm, little thing here. I know here. that you have Sorry. a stool. Yeah, I do. It's I, funny, actually, Alan Alda, 
Yeah, I keep when, this in case oh. Tom Cruise is ever on. There you go. There you go. Um, when I was uh, 12 years old, I got a Theatre World Award, which you can get for your Broadway debut, and Alan Alda was the host, and I was 12, and I couldn't see over the podium, so he went and got me a chair. Oh. So now I feel like I've graduated to a stool, because I've grown, like, three inches, but... That's lovely. That's see, I, so you, you like the singing and dancing and all that? You know I do that? like the singing and the dancing, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Do you, have you seen Cats? Uh, <laughs> uh, I tried to watch Cats. You didn't like Cats? No. Do you like Cats? Yeah. Okay. Not only do I not like cats, I don't even like cats. You know, like, cats the musical or cats. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. Whatever kind of cat you got, singing I'm like, no, or not no, no, or I don't care what your cat does, keep it. Okay. Do you have a cat? I don't have a cat, no. Mm. I, I, I don't like the musical and I don't have a cat. We get My cat ran away when I was a, when I was a little girl. To join the theater? Yeah. <laughs> Nice one. Yeah, I think that's probably true. Do you have a pet at all? I don't, I don't. My apartment doesn't allow uh, dogs. Oh, come on, you must be making a little money now. Move to a bigger place. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I mean, uh, I, I really want a dog. I actually feel like, uh, in the way that a lot of people are like baby crazy, I'm like dog crazy. How about I, like, French bulldog? I, like, you fancy one of those? I, I got. <laughs> No, I, you don't like your French bulldog. Oh, uh, why would I, I want it? I, it's, I don't want to damage no, goods. No, it's, it's, not, it's not a bad animal. It's not, I'm not trying to say that the animal's bad. I just don't care for the entire species, you know, uh, or type of, of dog that I it is. I don't know that you're going to get me to take your dog on that recommendation. It's a very good guard dog. <laughs> okay. People would go to burgle you and then go, oh, I'm not going in there. <laughs> they would go I see. And they would burgle somewhere else. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Portland, Maine. I've been there. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> it, you've got the sea right there, and there's that coffee shop in the corner. I love that coffee shop. <laughs> it's nice there in Portland. Yeah, no, I think there's something about Portland that's really nice. It's not too, like, a lot of those kind of smaller East Coast towns tend to kind of cash in on the ye old yeah. kind of thing, because we have no history in America. Well, and, do, what, uh, of course we do. <laughs> What are you talking about? Yes, we have history, we just don't have Bronze Age. And actually, we do have Bronze Age history, actually, sorry, Native Americans. So, yes, there's history, it's just that we've got a, it's a lot of space in between it, that's all. Okay. See, in Europe, it's all packed together. Yeah. But... Like a theme park. <laughs> yeah, Maine's not like a theme park. I like it, it's yeah, very it's nice. Yeah, it's nice, yeah. Do you, have you ever been to Europe? Uh, I, I have only been to the UK, actually. Oh, yes, I recall it. <laughs> Once upon a time. Yeah. Do you uh, do you enjoy it over there? Where do you I go to in the it. UK? Uh, I've I've been to uh, London, Edinburgh, and Dublin, but but mostly London. Really? Yes. <laughs> I went for the Fringe Festival to in Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. Amazing. Isn't it? If you like Peruvian flute bands, that's the place to be in August. <laughs> Like everywhere, right? I'm like, where are the? What are they doing for flute bands in Peru for the month of August? They're everywhere. And mimes? Do you enjoy mimes? I didn't see that many mimes. I saw a lot of um, like street rapping in at the Edinburgh Festival. Yeah, God, it was, that it was a little strange. terrible. <laughs> Scottish street rapping, Peruvian flute bands. <laughs> oh dear, I I can never go back. Well, listen, you're very good in this movie, I have to Thank say. You. I mean, really good. Are they going to give you an Oscar or something for it? I, I doubt it. I don't know. <laughs> Can you ask? Yeah, you yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give them a... During the commercial break, I'll Thank call uh, I'll call the head of show business. Who is it these days? <laughs> is it Oprah? I thought it was either Conan or Jay. I can never figure it out. <laughs> so, uh, we're out of time. Oh. Yeah. Well, and, that uh, was this, nice. Uh, the, in this... Uh, <laughs> Not you personally. You, I'm sure, have a long career ahead of you. But this little part of the this is we're out of time here. This has been really fun. Yeah, I've enjoyed it immensely. <laughs> <laughs> it goes quick though, doesn't it? Yeah. Not really. Not really. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got everybody. Macho. <laughs> We're out of time. We talked too long. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night.